Dobbs an Invincible? I've only read the comic, not the animation. And I'm only like 30 chapters into it. How's the comic? The comic's good. At first, the comic was a little bit cheesy. It felt like it was trying and failing to be like an edgy satirization of traditional comic stories. Um, but as time's gone on, I've actually really, really liked the comic. Um, I think it's done a better job of pushing for the ideas. Hey, what's up, my man? Is the Invincible comic from the same guy who did The Boys? Is it? If so, that would make a lot of sense. I didn't mean to do that! I forget it's not the crouch key. Oh, same guy's Walking Dead. The boys' comics aren't very good. I tried reading them. They seemed just edgy. Like, just edgy, you know? You know? The boys' comics, it really felt like they were doing everything they could to tell me. They were, you know, everything. Like, little boy running around reenacting all of his favorite South Park skits. I went the wrong way. Show's good. Show's good. I've seen the show. Both seasons. Watchmen TV show is better than the movie. I never watched the Watchmen TV show. I really should. Then again, I'm one of the few people who actually really like the Watchmen movie adaptation, so I don't know. I could be biased in that respect. I've read the Watchmen comic about half a dozen times, and I've seen the movie about the same number of times, and I honestly think that Snyder's Watchmen movie adaptation was near about as good as you could expect a movie adaptation of The Watchmen to be. There's just way too much content in there, I think, to make for, to pack into a single movie. I feel like it was pretty good. I think one of the things they really nailed in The Watchmen movie was that it was hyper-liminal. Everything about it was highly saturated. Nothing about it felt real. The Watchmen movie, it was all like... It was all... The Watchmen movie felt like you were listening to a really long mixtape that was made by somebody with, like, a lot of emotional issues. It was psychedelic. There was so much emotion in every scene. Not just through the delivery and the narrative and what have you, but through the, the, the way everything was conveyed. If there were major... There are only a couple things that I think they could have easily changed that I wish they had. First of all, get rid of the hallelujah scene. I don't care how well it's implemented, it's overdone. The sex scene, the, bur the burning building, it's having sex to hallelujah, it's overdone, please stop. Second of all, I want my giant alien squid back. I know it would have taken a couple more minutes to fit in the setup, but I still want it. I want my giant, a giant alien squid, that's very important to me. <laughs> And also, um, they probably should have glorified the action a little bit less. Like the slow motion Snyder shot, you know, of them fighting in the prison and all that crap? Nah, that doesn't really fit the theme. The comic really did not overemphasize any of the fighting. If anything, the fighting was considered like a horrible byproduct of the power differential between the Watchmen and the people they suppress. But it's a Snyder film, so they have to do that. And, um, I haven't seen the HBO series. And, uh, what's the final one? What's the final- what's the final big one I think I'd change? Oh yeah, why did they change Rorschach's first kill? When he- when he freaked the fuck out, why did they change that? You know? In the- in the, um... In the was it the first kill or was it just when he first turned into the Joker? In the um, in the comic, what happened was he found that a little girl had been abducted, raped, and killed by some guy that he had tracked down. And he's a superhero. His job is to report this to the authorities. You know, that's his job. But instead of doing that, he um, he handcuffed. <laughs> no problem, Wayne. Who was that? Uh, instead, he handcuffed. Oh, yeah, and, and he fed her to his dogs. Um, and in the comic, what he did was he lit the guy's house on fire and then handcuffed him to a pipe in the, um, uh, in the utility closet. 
uh, the only way for him to get out was to saw his own hand off with the uh, with the saw that he was left by Rorschach, and he couldn't do it. The guy couldn't do it, so he died in the flames, you know. But in the movie, um, in the movie, Rorschach just freaked out and like just stabbed him, hit him with an axe, just chopped him in the head, which I I don't think worked as well, you know. Because the point, Rorschach is supposed to be like an Alex Jones listener, like a crazy libertarian doomsday cultist who believes that, like, humanity is filth and that only the individually accept uh, exceptional, you know, can, can, can triumph. Um, and the whole fire saw handcuff bit, I hate how people glorify Rorschach. Rorschach is a fucking lunatic. Why do people glorify Rorschach? Rorschach is literally supposed to be a satirization. Uh, well, he's a satirization of a lot of shit, but one of them is Batman. That's the reason why Rorschach was a partner to Owlman. Owlman was a representation of, like, half of Bruce Wayne's personality, and Rorschach was a representation of the other half, you know? They worked together. They were partners. They were representative of Batman in the same way Dr. Manhattan was representative of Superman. Oh, the guy who played Rorschach did an amazing job, you know? But, like, they both work together on that, you know? Both Owlman and Rorschach are detectives, but Owlman is, like, this kind of affable, put-down, like, caped crusader type. But Rorschach is, like, the underbelly of that. A legit... F oh, Night, Night Owl, sorry. A legit lunatic. A fucking deranged piece of shit. They were based off the question in Blue Beetle. Um, yeah, 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 like, aesthetically, they're very representative, and Rorschach and the Question are practically the same person. Um, oh, God! Do you guys- I'm sorry. Is it weird that people think Rorschach is anything more than an actual hero? Like, don't we do the same to the Punisher? No, the Punisher is an anti-hero. Rorschach isn't even an anti-hero. Rorschach is just a lunatic. Punisher is a vi a person who uses violence to do things that are arguably good. Rorschach really isn't. You know? He's fucking crazy. Rorschach is fucking crazy. Anyway, anyway, who here saw the Justice League Unlimited? Do you guys remember Justice League Unlimited? Like, they had the original Justice League show back, like, early 2000s, and it was pog as fuck. But then they're like, hey, what if we got all the superheroes in on it, and it's Justice League Unlimited? And then they have the whole arc with the question and Lex Luthor and Brainiac and everything. That arc was some of the best shit I have ever seen on the WB Network. Oh my god, it was so fucking good. The, Je the Justice League Unlimited stuff is unironically some of the best fucking cape shit put to film. Looks like we're in this. Oh yeah, and um, wait, this is dorky. Last dorky thing that I'm saying, and we're done. Last dorky thing I'm saying, and then we're done. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, they also cared a lot about relative power levels in um, in Justice League Unlimited. One of the things that always bugged me in superhero stories is that, like, everyone feels like they're about as strong as everyone else. You know what I mean? No, we're not going to copyright. Don't worry. Everyone feels like they're about as strong as everyone else. There was a story where a bunch of the ladies, because there's some creepo misogynistic shit that I think they call out in the narrative, uh, get uh, uh, mind controlled to fight each other, and they all break free of it. And she's like... Oh, no. I've saved the very best for last. And Wonder Woman shows up and everyone yes, freaks the fuck out immediately afterwards because Wonder Woman, like, instantly fucking kills all of them because she's... You know, I don't know. Normally, they're too afraid to acknowledge that some heroes are stronger than other heroes. No, not kills. Beats the shit out of. That's one of the things that I hated about, um... Godzilla versus um, King Kong, too. They can't actually have one side win because all the fans on one side or another are soy-facing, waiting for a victory, so they have to work together against some shared threat. 
And they do that in superhero stories, too. They do crossovers. Can the Flash beat the Hulk? This must be well, the it's going to be a fucking tie, dipshit, because both sides have fans and they don't want to make anyone upset. But in that story, they just unequivocally said, yeah, no, like, obviously Wonder Woman is, like, significantly stronger than... Maybe we should focus on the game a little bit, you know? Red Sun is pretty good. Red Sun is good, but over time, I've come to like it less and less. The comic or the movie? Uh, I only remember the comic. But I've read the comic a million times. I bet tankies love Red Sun. Would they? Because the end of Red Sun, the way it turns out, is communism fails and Lex Luthor, with his hyper-capitalist brilliance, leads humanity into a new era of prosperity.